And we're wrestling with WWE Class at the Castle. Um, it's next Saturday, and by the time our next episode airs, uh, it will be over. So, uh, doing the preview, uh, right now. So, uh, let's get into the first match, the match that people bought a ticket to see. Undisputed WWE Universal Championship match, Roman Reigns vs. Drew McIntyre. Does McIntyre have any chance of winning this match, Scooter? <sighs> None whatsoever. SmackDown Women's, uh, Women's Championship match, Liv Morgan vs. Shayna Baszler. Does Shayna Baszler have any chance of winning this match? Not in any way that results in her uh, walking out with the championship. Then we got Bianca Belair, Oscar, and Alexa Bliss versus Bailey, Io Sky, and Dakota Kai. Who wins this match? Uh, it's got. I mean, it's got to be. Bailey, uh, since it, since they're, 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 looks like they're booking, they're, they're either booking a Bianca and Bailey program, or they're booking a Trish and Bailey program. Why can't it be both? Because... One will fall to the wayside, and we know who it will be if that happens. So, someone has to come in and either occupy Bianca's time or occupy Trish's time, and somebody else occupying Trish's time until, you know, Bianca and Bailey is, are done... Uh, it seems, you know, it seems more likely. Um, I would, I would expect Charlotte to return just to, you know, based on their, you know, SummerSlam 2019 encounter. Um, just because Charlotte thought she put Trish, you know, away for good. Um, and then you could get to Trish Bailey and... Bianca and whomever. Now, I mean, do I do I do I dare say uh, since apparently uh, things have been settled between Naomi and Sasha in the WWE? I don't know. I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to say anything else on that. I don't think we should until we actually see him on WWE programming. Um, oh, that should... And, and, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. I agree. I think Bailey um, gets the pen over Bianca. Uh, Seth Rollins versus Riddle. Um, probably Seth. I think Seth would be a better match than, uh, would be the, the logical way to go. But that's just me. That's the issue. Uh. I mean, 
we know we we know that whenever Randy returns, he's turning heel. For sure. And Doesn't they want to make. It's gonna happen anytime soon, though. See, a number of months ago, I might have said, yeah, but, you know, now I'm not so sure. I'm not sure what to expect, and I love that feeling. Um, I mean, we either see an RK Bro reunion, or we see an RK Bro split. Uh, and, um... The question is, is Randy well enough, is Randy well enough to return? And I could see them wanting to make it so, make this event so memorable that, well, yeah, you're going to see Roman still walking out as champion, but... Randy, you love Randy, right? You love Randy. I mean, he it. Love, he loves riddles. And, I mean, and love it, it, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not Randy. Uh, I mean, can Randy even go and figure Kevin Owens out? Um, you know those implications. They are still PG at this point. Uh, what if it were to... Mm, what if Cody just made an appearance? Oh, that would be something. Just the cost set the match? Basically, yes. So, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with Riddle. I I think I think Riddle needs you know a a big pay per view win that's in front of an audience. Has he not had that yet? I mean, the the, the WrestleMania thirty six pre show. Does anybody remember that pay per view? He, he won the U.S. title for in the triple threat match against uh, Lashley and who the hell else was it? Was it Dam was it Damian Priest in that match? No. Was it Sammy? No, was it wasn't Sammy. That was not WrestleMania. That was that. Yeah, yeah, that was the WrestleMania. No, that was a SummerSlam 2020 pre-show. Okay. Oh, uh... Oh, uh, and... Yeah, by the way, uh... Yeah. You, you, you think Sammy's part of the bloodline? No. We're, we're, we're getting Joe Uso. Don't be beat on Jake Russo. Now, Joe, Joe fits so much better because Jimmy there Joe are there are there are Joes in the you know in the Fought Two and the Anawai family. I mean, Roman is Joe. Exactly. Right. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Riddle. WWE United States Championship match. Gunta vs. Sheamus. Wrong title. Oh, Intercontinental. Wow. The last time it was on a, last time the Intercontinental title was on a, you know, UK pay-per-view. <laughs> In, in 30 years. When's the last time the Intercontinental Championship been on a normal pay-per-view? Or PLE, as they're called now. 
it hasn't been for God. It, it's been. I, I think it, it might be close to a year now. I think two, maybe three. Uh, but the fact uh, Gunther and Sheamus is the match we will see where the crowd gets the loudest. Oh, for sure. The um, gonna be a so I think. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get hey hey Bailey who ha I wanna know if you'll be my girl and she'll hate it but she'll love it at the same time. Uh, yeah, it'll get Tyler Bate, Tyler Bate, Tyler Tyler Bate, Tyler Tyler Bate, Tyler Bate. I mean. But he is competing the next day. This is true, but in America. And oh, shit. Florida. I. No, oh, crap. I thought they were. I thought they were all going. I thought NXT was going over there with them, too. Not that I know. Um, oh, shit. Uh, but either way. This is a very weird situation because no, Seamus will automatically be the face, uh, but uh, but. You have, you clearly have Drew losing. Yeah. Or at least Drew not walking out with the title. This is correct. Uh, uh, so if you have... Seamus lose as well. You're you're gonna have a pretty pissed off crowd. You think so? I, I mean, if the Scot, if the the, the the Scottish guy can't win, and the Irish guy can't win, I mean, they don't have any Welsh wrestlers. <laughs> Uh, the guy that's with Seamus, uh... Ridge Holland? Ridge Holland, yeah, he's Welsh. No, no, Ridge Holland's not Welsh. Of course, well, he was Welsh. Uh, I, I... I no. I, he... He's from. He's from Liver's Edge. Uh. Which is in England. Okay. So. So we have. We have I I really want to go with Seamus, but then does it make? Gunther look weak. Plus the fact that it's the only title that Sheamus hasn't won. Very true. I mean, so, if Gunther could look strong losing to Drakenoff, who is a quarter of his size, and make it look good. That's I a good point. Like he could make, he could lose to Seamus and, you know, have it just as believable. The question is, uh, 
do they decide to put Gunther, Gunther, and Sheamus at the end in, in, instead of Roman and McIntyre? Yeah, Paul Heyman go. Yeah, we don't want to be in. We don't want to be in Wales any longer than we have to. So we're going first. Do what he did with Brock at WrestleMania 35. Ooh. And then, you know, you know, Gunther, Sheamus, you, you know, you do, you do the call back. And you set, you, it, you could at least say you had a, a, a positive end to the pay-per-view. Because you want premium live better. What the fuck ever? I, I, you know what? Screw it. I'm saying Jamis. All right. Um, I'm gonna go with Gunther just because you know he hasn't been out as long, and I mean, a list, a lost the Jamis isn't gonna break him, but I don't think they're quite ready to pull that trigger on and out for him. Um, other matches that are predicted to be on the show, because we still have a Raw, an uh, NXT, and a SmackDown before these, uh, that event happens, um, The Miz vs. AJ Styles, um, you know, if they can find Miz, um, if this match happens, who wins? Uh, probably, probably AJ. And Edge versus Finn Balor. I mean, this is a bad, really good match if it doesn't um, happen. Oh. Oh, yeah, and then it, yeah, it would be crazy not to have Finn. So... Hmm. I mean, if they're not gonna do Edge and Balor, I expect them to do Edge and Beth against Finn and Rhea, or uh, Priest and Rhea. Hmm. And then you do Lashley and Balor. Um, you get you you give the top UK talent title matches. But I feel like if Balor loses, you know, I don't see them giving him the uh, title off of Lashley. Oh. Oh, I don't see that. I don't see them either. But it's you know, it's the idea of putting the talent from those regions. I kind of feel like you know, if they gave uh, Finn Balor a win over Edge, that would mean a lot more than winning. The the United States Championship because let's face it, uh, Judgment Day under Finn Balor has fallen fall to the wayside. It's not what it could be, and you know he needs to be a legitimate leader. And if he doesn't get those legitimate wins, then nobody's going to believe him as the leader. But that's just my opinion. I mean, considering we're heading towards, you know, men and women competing against each other in the WWE finally again, um, 
and you know, and Beth making the save. You know, that's if I mean, and the fact that the pay per view after this is Extreme Rules. So it's 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 an interesting predicament. Oh, for sure. Can we still see how the page up? Oh, if we do see Bella versus uh, Tuba again. Yeah, yeah, Finn. I honestly think we're. I honestly think we're, pro we're probably going to see Edge and the Mysterios against Balor, Priest, and Ripley, or Edge, Mysterio, and Beth, hmm. and and maybe Dominic turns. Ah, I don't know. We will know soon. Um, join us next week. Uh, that will conclude our coverage of WWE Class at the Castle. Uh, join us in two weeks when we um, review that show. Um, next week we preview uh, AEW All Out and um, the NXT Collision. What is it called? Collision? Close? Global Warning? Wait, wait, for, for, who, who's pay, who's next to that? The NXT UK, the NXT Oh, wor Worlds World. Collide. Worlds Collide, thank you. We'll speak, we'll, uh, speak you that and, uh, all out. Those, those are some of the shit shows, um, and, um, yeah, if you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, comment, put on YouTube, then cast box, join us this, um, Wednesday as we interview Gary J. Uh, we possibly will have an interview on, uh, Tuesday. Um, check in, um, our Twitter handle, at WrestleZP, for more information on that. Um... Like, subscribe, comment, join us for the interviews. Of course, this was sponsored by uh, Rogue Energy and Fair One Coffee. Um, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling the E for uh, who we're interviewing, when we're interviewing them, um, all things wrestling with entertainment related, and more. Uh, you can follow me at JMC993. You can follow Kalika at I am Kalika. I'm working with my Twitter. You can find me. Of course, on Wednesday, hosting a special live birthday wrestling show live from Camp Lejeune. Free water for everybody in attendance. Of course, find me on Twitter at ScooterDust. Find me along with James and Ryan Dust hosting the remix on YouTube, a premium audio companion experience for all your WWE premium live event needs in alternate commentary next time we come to you. October the 8th with Extreme Rules. And of course, find me along with Rico Constantino Jr. And now, an official wyvern of the Smoking Dragons clan. Twitch.tv backslash Smoking Dragons. Oh, I like I'm James J, and this is Ben Rafting Red Hey guys, this is Brutal Bob Evans from Hangs with Bob Seminars and TheWrestleLife.com, and you are listening to Wrestling with Entertainment, one of my favorite podcasts in the whole wide world. Hey folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment.
Enjoy the show. Support these guys. We appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.